Hey what's up guys welcome to customize the toy this is an overview video of the lollipop base rom for your tipo in case if you guys haven't checked the main video regarding how to install this lollipop base rom specifically made for tipo you can click on this annotations over here or you can check the description column below the video link is available so in this video i'm just going to give you a general overview about this rom i have used this rom for about a week so i will just let you know about my review about this rom First we will have a look at the lock screen. You just get the basic lock screen. Uh, you don't get any other options like uh, sliding on the left or sliding up or down. You just get one option to unlock your device just to swipe right and the device is unlocked. Obviously you get the other options for keeping a lock screen like the pin lock screen or the pattern lock screen. You can change the way you want it. But in side lock screen you just get the one option that to slide to the right to unlock your phone now let's have a look at the home screen the home screen is pretty much simple for and the very much familiar for those who have already used the nova launcher because out of this rom you get the nova launcher uh, built in that is the it is the default launcher for your phone you don't get any other sony launcher or something you get the nova launcher from this rom so the nova launcher is the default launcher for for this rom Obviously the, the options which we get from the Nova launcher you will get the same option in this ROM. So that was, uh, that was with the home screen. So you just get the basic home screen. You don't get the Google launcher but the Nova launcher. So I have some widgets. This is the uh, uh, clock widgets from the uh, lollipop. And this is the calendar from the lollipop. So this is how it looks. This is the calendar widget from the lollipop. So that's pretty much it with the home screen. Uh, this is the folder how uh, this is how it looks. Here you, here you will get the animations of the lollipop. So basically the developer has tried giving you the feeling of lollipop on this custom based ROM. So let's have a look at the app drawer now. So this is how the app drawer obviously it will be similar with the Nova launcher which we get. So this is a basic app drawer. I will just give you the overview about the apps which we get from this ROM itself. Uh, we get this uh, calculator app uh, this is the calculator app the lollipop calculator app put it on tipo on this rom and the calendar app here you can see uh, the icons of the calculator and calendar and all the apps are basically modified to the lollipop icons which we get and we get the clock l app from here and we also get the clock l app from this rom and the contacts app and you get this cyber shot app the camera i have tested the camera even the camera is working uh, fine in this rom and there is no issues and then you get the fm radio from this rom and the google app from this rom and you get the music app even the music app is working very fine there's no issues you get the notes you get the opera mini instead of the default browser for the uh, for the rom so this is the opera mini which you will get and the root explorer and the super seo app and for the gallery you get the quick pick app which also which is working really well and for the messaging you get this textra app so this is the app for messaging on your phone and rest all the apps i have installed so that's pretty much it in the app draw let's have a check in the notification panel so this is how the notification panel in this form looks like uh, if you can check this tab the notification here you will get all the notification uh, on your phone and if you check this panel that is a quick panel here you will get all the toggles for your phone regarding the wi-fi signals and everything all the toggles are available here unfortunately you cannot modify these toggles or rearrange these toggles you don't have this option you have to stick with these toggles so you cannot modify you can obviously change the brightness right from here so this is how the notification panel uh, looks like the developer have tried giving you the lollipop feeling in the notification panel also let's jump into the settings in the settings menu you don't get much uh, uh, options in the settings you just you can see only the basic settings which is there in almost all the rom made for tipo so you get the auto start option uh, wherein you can select or deselect the apps you want to boot up while you restart your phone or you will reboot your phone and these are all the basic settings the power management the apps account syncs, security backup and reset 
setup guide, talk, accessibility developer option and the about phone. And once we get into the about phone option, you get the basic information about the phone and here is the android version which is 5.0 that is a lollipop. You see it is showing that it is a lollipop but if you hold this lollipop icon you will get the animation the one which we get in the ICS ROM so that's why I have, I have been saying that this is the lollipop based ROM but not the actual lollipop ROM and to check the recent apps option so this is how it looks uh, similar to the ICS uh, so you have to slide to uh, kill the apps so that's pretty much it in this video guys if you guys enjoyed this video do hit the like button and comment on the comment column in case of any queries do let me know if you have any suggestion regarding the videos that I upload in my channel. I must say guys, once you have to try this ROM if you have rooted phone and have the experience of the lollipop on your Tipo. So that's it for now in Customize the Toy. Enjoy this custom ROM, the lollipop based ROM specifically made for Tipo. See you guys in next video.